Hey guys, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today for our acrylic pouring project, I want to do something uh, and, and in hopes to create a look of texture, even though there won't actually be additional uh, substance there to create the texture, but we want the illusion of texture. So let's get right to it. So I'm really becoming a fan of, in well, obviously a fluid art, but in within fluid art itself, is uh, creating some differences in directions and differences in, um, you know, it, it creates a look of there being some texture there, some depth. So I'm using, I wanna use black and my rose gold. I've got a burnt umber brown. And I didn't really want to use white, but I needed something at the under, other end of the, the scale here. So I have this light ivory. I've added Floetrol to each of my paint colors. You want to mix that stir thoroughly. I can't talk today. You want to mix it thoroughly and might even, you know, continue to stir as you go along with your pour. Now, I'm gonna use this little $1.99 um, measuring cup that I got the other day. The thing is to remember, I'm gonna move this uh, for just a second. The thing is to remember that what goes on the bottom is going to be the last thing that comes out of here. So I'm thinking, what is it that I want? And I'm gonna want these to come out in, the, in uh, kind of a a little layered look, if you will. But I'm gonna start with, I want. I know I want black on the bottom. And then I think I want the cream, the light cream. And I'm hoping I have this thin enough. I think we do. Remember, if you kind of bank it off of the edge of your container, you're not gonna have a giant, it won't just clump, kerplunk down to the bottom. And then I want my rose gold. Gold. Um, Y'all know if you've watched any other videos, I'm a tremendous fan of the rose gold. This time with the layering, I'm going to layer in the brown. I want a dab of the cream. And then the brown. And a little more cream. I may need more cream as I'm seeing here, because I kind of want, I want it to, I want to separate the colors enough that it'll give them, you know, contrast for each of them to have the opportunity to stand out. Now, because of the way I want to do this particular pour, I'm going to change up as I'm as I'm going up. It's not going to be the same consistency with my layering of colors. If you get off of banking it, it's it wants to just go bloop right down to the bottom. Okay, so I guess I think we've got that where I want it, pretty much, maybe. <laughs> One thing's for certain, when you start pouring and you have this whole vision in your mind and then it comes out something else. Now, that is not always a bad thing. So don't fear if it's like, oh, it just didn't work. 
because it's not definitely not always a bad thing. I'm gonna need gloves here shortly, most likely. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna start, and I want a tiny little drizzle coming out of here. So I'm gonna start uh, kind of up here in this in this quarter. And I'm gonna be doing little, little circles. I'm gonna come back this way. I didn't want a big drippy there, but it kind of got a little bit. Now, I definitely want to put my gloves on now because we're going to be letting it flow off the edges. I don't want to manipulate it. I huge amount, but I definitely want it enough to cover. I'm sorry, I'll turn it this, see if I can turn it this way, guys, I apologize. This is looking kind of like a animal print, sort of, kinda. But as you can see, it just gives a different effect than what we've done by just the pour across the middle or just a total, you know, a swipe. I'm gonna pick up, I've got a, a good bit of paint over here that I want to add to these little edges. Just let them run down. Try not to, uh, and this is kind of the hard thing, try to pick it up without actually blending it all together because then it's, it just take, it's, turns a whole different color and, and it's not necessarily the one you, that you may want. But uh, yeah, I've got this little edge over here. You can see that kind of was some of the edge that it's kind of creating its own little different color there but it's still gonna flow, because I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna maneuver it a little bit more. Trying to pick up the parts that have just fallen, just like they're on here. That way, it won't come up with a, like I said, a whole different color. Mostly this edge. Got a nice amount, but not completely. I wanna let that flow a little bit, give it a little natural, so it'll have the natural look of the rest of the piece, hopefully. I don't have my push pins on here. I didn't realize till I got started they're in a bag. I had to decorate for a Halloween party and I thought I might need my push pins, so they're not with me. So when 
You don't have exactly what you need. You improvise. I like these colors. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, it's really, really making me think animal print, and I like this. That one was not the color I'd really want to dip in there. But I'm just kind of making sure that all the little edges, the corners sometimes don't, I don't know, it flows around. It doesn't flow over the corners sometimes the way you would like. And let me check all of these. I think that, uh, I think that we did. Let's see if we've got any movement still going. A little bit, very little bit, but a little bit. I'm gonna try, no, it's this corner that I kinda wanna see if we can get a little flow going to this bottom corner over here. And it looks like we're getting just a bit there. Now, as you can see, it just took on something a little bit different. So the more you manipulate, the more your, your piece is gonna change. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. It's certainly not a bad thing uh, because look how, I'm just, I don't wanna drip, so I hate to point, but how the black has made a, a little more definition through here. But this is what I, I was going for. As you hear, let me take these off because I know me and I will drip something right in the middle and I won't be happy with myself. Okay, what, uh, what I meant by, you know, different directions, you can see we've got this kind of flowing this way and this kind of this way and that kind of that way and that, you know, the different directions that it, that the, that it flowed, I don't know, to me gives it, gives it some depth, gives it um, texture even though it's all even, no, uh, nothing to create exactly texture love how these little, look at these little teeny tiny lines. And of course, as usual, I'll have a close-up picture at the end, but these little teeny tiny lines, just really cool. And uh, I know I'm a fan. Uh, if you haven't played with metallics, um, of course the rose gold is one of my favorites, but the thing is they're not so overpowering as if, uh, you know, I've done some pieces with glitter and I, I like working with glitter and I like having glitter, but the thing with these metallics that I ha have seen is that it's very subtle, that little bit of sheen, a little bit of shine that it gives. So get you some metallics and give it a try. This just had the four colors, the um, metallic rose gold, have burnt umber, basic black, and then some light ivory. The light ivory, is the reason we got these little these little light colors through here. Otherwise, it would have just probably would have been a little bland. Anyway, I hope you'll give it a try. Well, guys, like I've said before, uh, you have one thing in your mind, it comes out so totally something different. This actually did follow along with what I was attempting. It didn't always happen. It doesn't always happen to me. It's not gonna always happen to you. Doesn't always mean it's a bad thing because there's two things you can do. You may be uh, completely happy with it, uh, even though it wasn't what you started out with. You can also always go back and do another pour over what you don't like. So don't get frustrated. I hope you'll give it a try. And you know, guys, thank you so much to you subscribers. And I want to appreciate your I appreciate your comments, likes, and shares. And I uh, hope you'll pass it on to your friends and uh, get together and have a paint and pour party. Anyway, whatever you do, make it yours. Make it personal. And you can do it. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.